one of the things I encourage men to do is actually talk to women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And listen to yes. some of their stories. Thank because you. Because sure. what you will hear is, I was touched when I was five. Yeah. Was. Mm-hmm. And because of that, it led mm-hmm. to this type of behavior like and, trauma. you know, mm-hmm. this type mm-hmm. of, you know, stuff that happened in my life. Now, unfortunately, a lot of boys have those same experiences. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't frame it that way, though. Mm-hmm. We say, oh, he liked it. You know, mm-hmm. that 16-year-old that who was fucking on him when he was mm-hmm. eight, mm-hmm. he liked it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But those same results come from the... So these they men do. who are promiscuous, the we call them trauma. fuck boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, the it's the same it's trauma. The same tra- yeah. It's expressed differently. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. For sure. But we don't empathize with men. We only empathize with women. And that was the whole point I was making mm-hmm. about if we're really going to see a, a, a community with better men mm-hmm. and better women, the equity of empathy has to be there. Yes, For sure. We can't just focus Absolutely. on all the things that, because yo, a lot of dudes are suffering. Yeah, For sure. Yeah. They're going oh, through it. They are. But we don't yeah. think about it like yeah. that. And unfortunately, the messed up part about it, we reward them for being more damaged. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't reward healthy men. Mm-hmm. No, I We don't know, reward honey. healthy masculinity. Mm-hmm. Baby. We just complain about it. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, but a healthy <laughs> no, I'm man. I'm laughing at you. Girl. <laughs> Because a healthy man is everything to me nowadays. And and I have to say, for me, I learned to value men more and not look at them as like this thing mm. or like this, this. Because for me, a man was always a, like a mission, mm. a toy, a little bit. An accessory. To play with. Yeah, like something to play with him. Like, like it's something to do. Mm-hmm. And so this year, I, I literally have to say this year, I re- really took the time to value men, listen to them and be their friend more mm-hmm. than just like, what can you do for me? And mm-hmm. I'm not a, even a, what can you do for me financially type of girl? Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I want you to come over here. <laughs> I want to mm-hmm. see you. Like, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what can you what do happened? for me? What, what you mean? What had, like, what triggered that change for you? My breakup. I had mm-hmm. a breakup last year. Ooh. And so I felt like, uh, we fast forwarded that relationship and I never learned how to be a friend to a man mm. before. Never. Mm. And I feel like if I, I wasn't a real friend to men ever, I don't think, I don't mm. think I was to, to say how I'm a friend because I love a girl. Like, mm. I love my my girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't value men in the same way because like I said, I look at them as toys, right? Mm-hmm. So with my ex, Mm-hmm. That's good. That's powerful. That's good. Yeah. I'm just Keep saying going. that's good. Keep going. So with my ex, I really wanted to be serious with him, but we were moving like super fast. Too fast. And then like he abandoned a relationship. Mm-hmm. So then I had to take a look within. Like, okay, so ain't no man gonna just stop talking to you for no reason. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes yes, mm-hmm. but at mm-hmm. the same time, I can't sit up here and be like. I didn't do anything at all. Mm. So I had to retract. Like, <laughs> Accountability. What did yes. I do? Necessary. What could I have done? And not saying that it's completely my fault. However, I play a part. Because mm. everybody play a part when you're in a relationship. That's That's right. So 100%. what part did I play? What could I have done that I probably feel like if it was the other way around, I wouldn't have want them to do that to me. Mm. And so it took me a little minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all right. It took me a little while right. to get it together. Mm-hmm. But I figured out what it was. And I apologized. Mm-hmm. He never responded to me apologizing, but I did it for me mm-hmm. because I felt like I needed to free myself from, if I hurt you, mm-hmm. I need to apologize and say that Absolutely. I hurt you. Mm-hmm. And regardless if you accept my apology or not, I know that I did that for me. Mm-hmm. And so I can move I'm on. You. you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want to throw this question to the both of y'all. Who mm-hmm. wants to go first? Do you want it don't first? matter. Okay, Good Porky, man. you go first. All right. Why do you think it is so difficult for most women, baseline, to empathize with men. Mm. Hmm. Take your time with it. Um, yeah, I got to think. That's, mm. that's, mm. I expect something good from you because you, mm. you got time now. Mm-hmm. Honestly, because kind of like what DJ said, we don't take the time to get to know men as people. Mm-hmm. Mm. A lot of times, is get to know a man to see where we could go. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of that male and female friendship thing, more so in this day and age, to me, it's more so non-existent mm. than it used to be. Because like some of my best friends in this world are men. Mm. And I, I talk to them like I talk to my homegirls. Sometimes to their chagrin. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> um, but like, and they call me bro sometimes too, just because mm. we have that relationship. Mm-hmm. But when you take the time to get to know 
men as people, right? You have yeah. a new respect for them. Thanks. Mm-hmm. But in, in the same token, when a man takes the time to get to know a woman as a person, mm-hmm. yeah. you're able to let down those walls that otherwise from bears that would that wouldn't that would be there. Yeah. Like you're not so focused on she wants me to have this, 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 I want to look like this, this, this. No, I can see you at your worst. I've seen you broken yes. and I, I'm okay with that. Right. Yeah. And a lot of times we're putting on airs or putting on these facades and these shows. So you mm-hmm. don't get to know the real person as a person. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. more so for the, I guess, for the hunt, I guess mm-hmm. I'll say, yeah. rather than for that relationship. Genuine. So yeah. maybe if we start working on getting relationships mm-hmm. with men and women down packed, then we could have less, mm-hmm. you know, space. But yeah, I think it's we don't we don't take that time to get to know them as people rather than just male female. Right, right. Definitely, I agree. But I definitely agree, and it all comes down to I think a lot of times too we have this idea of what a man is should be, whether it's mm-hmm. planted in us mm-hmm. as a young girl, what our mothers told us, what other women have said, what a man should be. So we we dehumanize them and yes. we look at them as, as this robot. Mm-hmm. And I can say for myself, I've had somebody tell me, "You you act like I'm a robot, like I don't have feelings." Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't think you did. Really, I didn't <laughs> right. think you're a man. You're strong. <laughs> you're supposed to be strong. You're supposed mm-hmm. to show up. I'm the one that's supposed to show the emotions right but when you get to know a man and the makeup of a man they mm-hmm. can be just as vulnerable as us yes they're just as broken mm-hmm. as us just right. as traumatized mm-hmm. as us they just internalize a lot because yes. men don't speak mm-hmm. when a man get, gets quiet he's thinking they mm-hmm. don't do we do a lot of talking because we we're yes. emotional yes. and so men they do a lot of thinking and so i think it's just we don't get to know them and say okay who are you not what can you be to me right as a woman can you be a husband can you be a provider yes. can you be a father yes. can you be xyz but who are you as a man let mm-hmm. me get to know you and mm-hmm. be a friend and see how we can come together as one yes. and I can be of support to you right. to undergird you because I'm the helpmate period mm-hmm. so therefore I'm gonna help you be all that you can be mm-hmm. as the army say but I gotta mm-hmm. get to know who you are as a man and the makeup of you yes. opposed to what everybody has told me what a man should be right oh, well, mm-hmm. a man's a husband should be this and so now I got this game plan in this rule book in this mm-hmm. list, the list mm-hmm. of what my husband should Child. be and if you don't come off uh, with everything on this list then you got to go mm-hmm. and what celebrate the beauty and the vulnerability of a come man on. You have, yes. you have to encourage that vulnerability. And that's right. the biggest Don't. compliment as a woman you can get. For a man to open Baby. up to you and be vulnerable, that means he sees you as a safe place. Yes. And a lot of times as women, we want to, we want that safe space, but we don't provide that safe right. space. But when a man can say, oh, I can come and talk to you about my day or what I'm dealing with or that I'm, I'm emotionally just all over the place, that's mm-hmm. a compliment. Mm-hmm. But a lot of men don't feel safe enough to do so. So mm-hmm. it's hard to get to know him because we don't give him a safe enough space right. to be who he is. Yeah. So we meet the representative Mm -hmm. because they're under so much pressure to Mm -hmm. make us feel like I'm this man that she wants me to be Mm -hmm. opposed to this is who I am. Take it or leave it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My my take on it would be, I feel like the world has blinded women in a sense of looking at men as a masculine power. Mm. So consistently we are looked at masculine so we can deal with everything. Yeah. So we're constantly looked to deal and accept everything that comes our way Mm -hmm. and not have an opinion about it. So when a woman looks at a man, she's going to look at a man as, oh, you're a weak or a bitch ass nigga if you complaining about your feelings and emotions to me, right? Mm. If, I, if I'm trying to express myself, the woman is going to say, I'm weak. Yeah. So a lot of times the man is going to go back into a place of mm. not feeling like he can express himself because it is power in, in, in his expression. There's right. So much mm-hmm. But if he can't express it because the woman don't allow him to, right. then it's never an export for him. You right. know, he's never going to export how he's feeling. Mm-hmm. So then he keeps that in because the world says he has to be masculine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No right. lie. I saw this. Well, I was, I don't know who did it, but there was some rapper or somebody famous who his girlfriend bought him a car or something mm-hmm. recently. And he's, like I said, he's a rapper, hard down. He's been to prison, all this stuff. And he cried. Mm-hmm. And he was like, nobody's ever done this for me before. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting in this room with people and a young lady was talking about it. And her reaction to it was, I was like, ew, you don't been in a prison. You sit up here crying. Mm. And in my head, I said, this is why we have a problem. That's what we have a problem. Because he said, the man said that no one has ever done something of this nature to him before. Mm. And he's not allowed to cry. Mm. Because you've been to prison you, and you're a man, you are not allowed to cry. Mm. Because you're so full up on joy over something that somebody you love has done for you. Mm. Because mm. they love you and want to see you happy. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? Exactly. If we, most, if we can't have that, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. 
And most men are raised that way. Mm. Right. I have brothers that have sons and they're, they're, the son ain't allowed to cry. You're not allowed. Mm. Man mm. up, man up. So that's burning their brain exactly. already. Right. So you kind of have to de help deprogram them yeah. as right. their woman, as their partner to say, it's sure. okay. It's all right. I ain't going to tell nobody. I'm not yeah. going to laugh. I'm mm. not going to throw it up in your face. Mm. And as women, we have to know mm -hmm. when he does come to that point to where he can be vulnerable, close your mouth mm. and don't bring it up tomorrow about he was crying when you get upset. Right. And you want Well, you was crying the other day. You just. Mm -hmm. Week, right. you know, no, yeah. now he's retreated right. two years back. So, exactly. can do it. so you ruined so it. So now sure. you've used it as leverage and as ammunition. Yeah. He'll never trust you again. Never, never. that part. And he's going to find somebody else. Yeah. For sure. Period. Yeah. I'll, I'll say <laughs> this because I, I don't want to put all the blame on women. I think. Oh, we're not doing that, but that's no. the truth. Yeah. It's the no, truth. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Like, in my journey of mm -hmm. trying to understand the world and shit like that, mm -hmm. when you study history, Mm -hmm. Masculinity is about dying well. Mm -hmm. Masculinity and death are kind of correlated, mm -hmm. right? He died whether, a hero. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Whether but it, it's it's whether you died marching into a coal mine, an oil mm -hmm. rig, mm -hmm. uh marching in a battle, yeah. uh, whether you killed your dreams to pr protect or mm -hmm. provide for you. A lot of dudes mm -hmm. wouldn't go to school because they had to work the field mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying? So Masculinity is about, in, in some sense, dying well and how you're remembered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because during your life, people are going to talk shit. Or he, just like Deion Sanders right mm -hmm. now, he ain't do this enough, did this enough. Mm -hmm. If he right. died to tomorrow, yeah. oh, he'd be man, he'd be you see what I'm saying? So yeah. with that being said, <clears throat> there's never been an incentive for men to be emotionally expressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's more of an incentive for us to be callous, for us to be rough and rigid enough to be able to bear whatever pains whatever. come with battle mm -hmm. or work. Or, or, or politics or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. from the villages of Africa mm -hmm. all the way mm -hmm. yeah. to the United mm -hmm. States. So with that being said, I think we need to be careful about that there, there, there seems to be like a growing condescension mm. amongst women. Mm. And you kind of alluded to it episode one when you said men need to tap into their femininity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a, there's this the sense masculine. of a healed man or an ideal man is a man who is relative to women, who is closer to femininity without acknowledging all the reasons why your brother's son right. can't cry. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Like it's nice for him to cry, but in the real world, not. Yeah. He can't cry. Right. Mm -hmm. And his ability to compartmentalize things mm -hmm. and, and be able to act accordingly mm -hmm. is more valuable than his ability to cry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we need to be honest about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately, especially a lot of young boys, whether it's from women or whether it's from the world, just like media generally right now, mm -hmm. they're getting mixed me messages. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want you to be a nice guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm giving pussy to the nigga who's not nice at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want you to be communicative and emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. But the guy who had me bent over is none of those things. Mm -hmm. Right. And men are observing these <laughs> yeah. things and saying, right. for sure. oh, motherfuckers full of shit. <laughs> You're talking out both yeah. sides of your neck. Right. Because your words and your idealism are, are, are advocating for one kind of masculinity mm -hmm. while simultaneously mm -hmm. rewarding a different type, a more traditional But, but then men do the same thing because y'all not going... If you saying we're going to be with the F boys, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we want our husband to be the good guy. Yeah. You want T.D. Jakes in, in, in the young thug suit. <laughs> But, but not T.D. No, no, Jason not, and Young not, Hugs, but I don't want neither one of them because I'm a, I'm close to the Bible, but I'm a little far removed from oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T.D. Maybe uh, Derek, Dr. Darius. Is that what was his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. T.D. Little. Dr. Darius or something. That's Uncle T.D. Child, listen. So, but men don't necessarily take the whole series either. You get what I'm saying? But y'all won't want y'all wife to be. Y'all want y'all wife to be a certain type of way or different than what the hoe is. 